Okay, we're going to look at the algorithm for multiplication and area model and compare the two. So if I had 32 groups of 124, that's technically telling you you have 124 times 32. So let's think about this. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1, which is 2 times 100, is 200. So you have 248. Now, this 3 is a 30. 30 times 4, well right now we're dealing with the tens place. 30 times 4 is 120. So now we're going to move over that extra. Because we, we have no place for a 1 yet, because we're not there yet. 30 times 20, 600, plus your extra 100 you moved over, that's 700. 3 times 1 is 3. When we add these all up, we're left with 8, 6, 9, Three. Now here's the neat thing is, let's look at the scenario model. All area model is doing is it's organizing each row, so hopefully we recognize exactly where we're multiplying and we don't make a careless error. So you have your 124, which is 100 plus 20 plus 4, you have your 32. Now, 30 times 100 is 3,000, 30 times 20 is 600, 30 times 4 is 120, 2 times 100 is 200, 2 times 20 is 40, 2 times 4 is 8. Well, let's go back and look at something for a second. In this problem, we did 124 times 2, we got 248. Well, go figure, in this problem, we did 124 times 2, we also got 248. When we did 30 times 124, we got 3,720. We did 30 times 124, we got 3,720. So when we add them both up, we're going to be left with 3,968. So in either problem, you're actually doing the same work. The difference is, in the area model, you're showing each individual step so you can help recognize if you make a computational error and fix it, to where in the algorithm, you're letting each step piggyback the previous steps. You keep moving yourself over based on place value. Again, a great way to do it is actually do both methods and then confirm that you're correct because then it's going to allow you to recognize how to do the algorithm because you're using the area model method to double check you. Okay, most As you get older, the algorithm will be the most efficient way to do it, but the area model, the nice thing about the area model is it really piggybacks well into algebraic thinking and something you'll be doing very soon. Okay, thank you.